It's late October 2025, and the last of autumn's golden leaves are drifting to the ground, carpeting parks and countryside in a warm, fading glow. The air is crisp, and a gentle mist lingers in the mornings, hinting at the colder days ahead. There's a subtle shift in the atmosphere, a quiet transition as autumn's beauty gives way to the first signs of winter's chill. The days are growing noticeably shorter, and the sun's warmth feels weaker with each passing afternoon. Streets fill with people bundled in coats, and long shadows stretch across the pavement as dusk arrives earlier and earlier. There's a sense of anticipation in the air, but also a growing concern. What will this winter bring for the UK? This year, meteorologists are paying close attention to global weather patterns. Early indicators suggest that the UK could be facing a colder, snowier season than we've seen in recent years. Satellite images and weather models are hinting at the possibility of more frequent snowfalls and extended cold spells. While the idea of a white Christmas conjures up images of festive cheer, the reality is more complex. Prolonged cold can mean travel disruptions, icy roads and higher heating bills, concerns that are on everyone's mind as we prepare for the months ahead. For many, the prospect of keeping homes warm and families safe is a top priority. So why the heightened alert this year? It's not just a feeling, there are real, measurable signals in the atmosphere. Scientists are tracking changes in wind patterns, temperature shifts, and pressure systems that all point toward a potentially challenging winter. Meteorologists analyze complex global patterns, such as La Nina and the quasi-biennial oscillation, to forecast what's ahead. These phenomena influence jet streams and storm tracks, shaping the weather we experience here in the UK. Even events happening thousands of miles away can ripple across the globe, affecting our local weather in powerful and sometimes unexpected ways. The science behind these connections is fascinating and crucial for understanding what's coming. In this video, we'll break down the science behind this winter's forecast, explore what each month could bring, and share practical tips to help you get ready. From understanding the latest predictions to preparing your home and family, we'll cover everything you need to know. Our goal is simple, to help you stay informed, safe and warm as winter 2025-26 unfolds. Whether you're hoping for snow or dreading the cold, being prepared makes all the difference. To understand why this winter could be colder than usual, we need to look at the global conductors that influence UK weather. These conductors are powerful forces that shape our climate and can lead to significant changes in our seasonal weather patterns. Three major players, La Nina, the Quasi-Biennial Oscillation QBO, and the Polar Vortex, are aligning in a way that could disrupt our usual mild, wet winters. Each of these elements has a unique role in influencing the weather. La Nina cools the Pacific, leading to changes in atmospheric circulation that can affect weather patterns far beyond the ocean. The QBO shifts high-altitude winds, which can influence the jet stream and subsequently the weather we experience on the ground. And the polar vortex controls Arctic air, acting as a barrier that can either contain the cold or release it southward. When these forces combine, they can weaken the Atlantic westerlies that usually keep us mild. This weakening allows for more extreme weather conditions. This opens the door for cold Arctic and Siberian air to sweep across the UK, bringing with it the potential for severe cold spells and heavy snowfall. Early signs show these conductors are syncing up for a colder setup this year. La Nina is developing, which could lead to a chain reaction affecting global weather patterns. The QBO is entering a cold favoring phase, which means the high altitude winds are shifting in a way that supports colder conditions and the polar vortex looks vulnerable, which could allow more cold air to escape from the Arctic and move southward. This rare combination has forecasters on alert for a potentially memorable winter. The alignment of these factors is unusual and could lead to significant weather events. Next, we'll dive deeper into how each of these global patterns works and what it means for the upcoming winter season. La Nina, the little girl of the Pacific, is a cooling of ocean waters that can shift weather worldwide. It strengthens trade winds, pushing warm water west and letting cold water surface in the east. This cool patch changes the jet stream, making it wavier and more likely to block mild Atlantic air from reaching the UK. High pressure near Greenland or Iceland can then divert our usual westerlies, letting Arctic air flood in. With La Nina strengthening, the odds of these blocking patterns and cold, snowy spells are higher than normal. While not a guarantee, La Nina tilts the odds toward a colder, more wintry season, especially after the new year. 
It's one of the strongest signals meteorologists watch for long-range forecasts. This year, its message is clear. Prepare for a chillier UK winter. The Quasi-Biennial Oscillation, or QBO, is a high-altitude wind pattern above the equator that flips direction every couple of years. When the QBO is in its easterly phase, it weakens the polar vortex, making it easier for cold air to escape the Arctic. This phase also encourages blocking high pressure over the North Atlantic, further increasing the risk of cold snaps in the UK. This winter, the QBO is shifting into its easterly mode, another sign pointing to a colder season. Combined with La Nina, the QBO stacks the deck for a wintry pattern. These signals don't predict daily weather, but they set the stage for the season's overall character. The pieces are falling into place for a memorable winter. The polar vortex is a swirling mass of cold air high above the Arctic. When it's strong, it locks frigid air in the polar regions, keeping UK winters mild. But if it weakens or wobbles, especially during a sudden stratospheric warming (SSW), the cold can spill south. SSWs can rapidly disrupt the vortex, leading to dramatic cold spells in the UK a few weeks later. Many of our harshest winters, like the beast from the east, began with a disrupted polar vortex. This year, with both La Nina and an easterly QBO, the vortex is more likely to weaken. While we can't predict exactly when, the risk of a major cold outbreak is higher than usual. The polar vortex is the final piece in the puzzle for a potentially severe winter. All eyes are on the stratosphere as the season unfolds. What might this mean month by month? Let's break down the broad outlook for the UK's winter of 2025-2026, exploring how each month could unfold and what weather patterns might shape the season ahead. December could start unsettled with a mix of rain, wind and some early cold snaps. Typical for early winter. Expect frequent Atlantic fronts bringing wet and blustery conditions, especially in the north and west. However, as the month progresses, colder air may begin to push in from the north, leading to a greater risk of frost and even some early snowfall, particularly over higher ground. As La Nina and the QBO's influence builds, expect more frequent cold plunges, especially later in the month. These could bring sharp temperature drops, icy mornings, and a growing chance of wintry showers, especially in Scotland and northern England. January is when the cold pattern could really take hold. Blocking highs over Greenland or Scandinavia may steer milder Atlantic air away, locking the UK into frosty days and crisp, clear nights. This setup often leads to persistent cold, with temperatures struggling to rise above freezing in some areas. There's a higher chance of widespread snow, even in the south, where snow is usually less common. Urban areas could see significant accumulations causing travel disruption and creating a classic winter scene. Prolonged cold spells and freezing fog are likely, especially during calm, clear nights. These conditions can linger for days, making roads and pavements treacherous and keeping daytime temperatures low. Snow could fall across much of the country, from rural hills to city streets, with the potential for several notable snow events through January. February is often the UK's coldest month, and this year, it could be especially harsh. The cold may deepen, with icy winds and frequent frost dominating the weather. This could mean more severe winter conditions than usual, with snowdrifts in exposed areas and a heightened risk of ice on roads and pavements. If a sudden stratospheric warming occurs, it could dramatically shift the weather pattern, sending frigid air surging in from the east and increasing the risk of disruptive snow. Late January or February could bring a beast from the east scenario, marked by biting easterly winds and heavy drifting snow, especially in eastern regions. Bitter winds and heavy snow could make travel difficult and create hazardous conditions, particularly along the east coast and in exposed rural areas. Even without a major SSW, the background signals, like La Nina and the QBO, favor a colder, snowier month than average. Frequent snowfall is possible, with some areas seeing multiple snow days and a real risk of prolonged wintry spells. Milder spells are still possible, especially if Atlantic air briefly returns, bringing rain and a temporary thaw. But these will likely be short-lived. The overall balance tips toward a wintry season, with more frequent and intense, cold snaps than we've seen in recent years. The message is clear. Be ready for a winter that could test the UK's resilience, with more frequent, intense, cold snaps and the potential for significant snowfall as the season progresses. The UK's winter won't be the same everywhere, 
regional differences will be stark. Scotland and Northern England are most likely to see the coldest air and heaviest snow, especially with northerly or easterly winds. Snow showers will be frequent in the north and east, with the highlands and Pennines facing the harshest conditions. The Midlands and South may see less persistent cold, but a direct easterly wind could still bring disruptive snow. Even a small shift in wind direction can mean big changes for southern areas. Western regions, like Wales, Cornwall, and Northern Ireland, may see more mixed wintry weather, with rain, sleet, and occasional snow. But if the cold block is strong, even these areas could freeze. No part of the UK is immune when the big cold arrives. Forecasting months ahead is never certain. Weather is chaotic, and small changes can have big impacts. Meteorologists use computer models and pass patterns to estimate probabilities, not certainties. This year, most models point to a colder winter, but some still show milder outcomes. Different forecasters may interpret the signals differently, leading to a range of predictions. As winter approaches, forecasts will become more precise, so treat this outlook as a guide, not a guarantee. Stay flexible, and keep checking updates from trusted sources like the Met Office and BBC Weather. The best way to prepare is to stay informed and ready for a range of scenarios. Winter story is still being written. Stay tuned. With a colder winter likely, preparation is key. Service your heating system, check insulation and block drafts to keep your home warm and energy bills down. Dress in layers, keep hats and gloves handy, and check on vulnerable neighbors or relatives. Stay active and eat hot meals to maintain body warmth. Prepare your car, check tires, antifreeze, and pack a winter emergency kit with blankets, food, and a torch. Always check the forecast before traveling and avoid unnecessary journeys in severe weather. Use public transport if possible but check for disruptions. Stock up on essentials before cold snaps hit so you're not caught out. Keep up with daily and weekly forecasts for the latest updates. With a little planning, you can stay safe, warm, and even enjoy the beauty of a classic British winter.